Hey guys, I am back with another clothing and accessories organization video for my series this May. I'm so excited about this series, it's so much fun. First off the bat, you might have noticed I'm in a totally different locale. I'm here at our family vacation home in Utah. It's my in-laws second home, which they very generously share with the family. And we are here right now for a little, uh, you know, get away, although both Don and I are still working while we're here, but it's just kind of nice to come here since it is, you know, available to us, and my in-laws are here as well right now, so it's really nice. And um, before I get any further, I'm going to apologize for the lighting in this video. Throughout the video, I don't have professional lights here. This house is very bright um, in certain places and very dark in other places, and there's not a lot of overhead lighting, so I apologize if things look whack, if I look a little, like, different. That's, it's all lighting. Lighting is everything. Anyway, today I'm going to share with you how I organize our dresser drawers here. And they're a little bit in shadow right now, but those are the drawers over there. Um, we have one bureau that's kind of on the medium size, I think. It's a little bit narrow, so the drawers are a little bit more shallow. And in it, it's mostly my clothing. Um, Don's clothing goes in the closet, and I will take you and sh show you that in a little bit, but we just had to kind of manage with space. Um, and I prefer the drawers, and he prefers the shelves in the closet, so it actually worked out really well. Um, but I'm going to take you through drawer by drawer. Um, I have been working on the drawer organization a little bit. You know, we come for a couple of weeks to a month or several times a year, so we're here for anywhere from two to three months total out of the year, but not all at once. So whenever I'm here, I will go through things and kind of pull off things and weed through things. And in the past couple of trips, I've been working on revamping the clothing and accessories organization. Um, so I'm really pleased with how the dressers are, uh, the dresser drawers are organized right now. And I just thought I would take you in and share uh, how I'm making it work for me currently. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm standing here in our bedroom in our family vacation home in Utah. And I just thought I'd orient you a little bit um, before I get into the drawers here. This is our bedroom and kind of give you a little look at it here. It's very lovely. Um, I really love it. And this is our one um, bureau in here. This is our only drawers in here. Um, in there, you can kind of see the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to take you through and show you each drawer and talk you through what I do for each drawer. So I like to keep our dresser um, pretty clear on the top. Things do tend to accumulate there, but at the end of each day, I clean it off. There's a little place for everything um, in this room, <laughs> uh, as I like to have. Um, but I just have a couple catch-all places for me and Don. Um, Don sometimes puts his watch or his money or coins in there. Um, and then I have this little thing I bought at a craft fair here a long time ago that had some lotion and a lot of lip products, like a ridiculous amount of lip products, but so, so I don't have to run up into my loft where I store all of my makeup to get things if I'm just running out the door. And I have the um, body sprays I'm using currently. And then the rest is just decorative. We've got a couple little mousse, mousse moose, whatever, and a candle and our lamp. Um, and that's, I just like it to be clear. And to me, that's part of the organization. Having a couple catch-all places on the top that don't take up a lot of space just makes it seem cleaner and just, for me, it works. Okay, the first drawer I'm gonna show you is actually not for clothing because, you know, we have quite a bit of things here because we are here so often. Um, I, I needed like a, a junk drawer basically for our room. And that's what this first drawer here is on the top. Um, it's basically, I mean it's not filled with junk, but it's basically, uh, you know, kind of a, a catch-all drawer. And I really could use some organizers to put in it, but I've just organized it. Um, it's not actually all that organized, I think, but it's easy enough that everything's laid out. Nothing's really, um, you know, two piled on top of each other. I have a few piles of things, but they're like empty journals and things I don't grab that often. Um, but this is just, just stuff that I sometimes want to have accessible to me. I could put them in a bin in the closet, but it's stuff that I, I grab more often. Um, so I like having it in here, and we didn't need this drawer um, for clothing in this room. Um, so there it is. Uh, but basically it just has some 
you know, things like an umbrella and a flashlight, things you might need, an extra pair of sunglasses for my husband, a, you know, a candle lighter for our candle, and um, some of my little um, clutches for when we go out to dinner, and, and some extra lotion and stuff like that. So nothing all that exciting, but it is a um, junk drawer in my dresser, and it works for me. Now if we go one drawer down to the middle drawer on the left side, this is where I keep all of my um, sort of lounging clothes because we spend a lot of time in the house here. Whenever I'm here, um, I'm most of the time, you know, working as usual and doing what I usually do at home. Um, and I'm, when I'm home, I'm usually in sweatpants and something comfy. Um, so I have my sweatpants on the left here and my mesh shorts for when it's warmer out. And on the right, I have my cozy, comfy tops as well as my, um, like, swim tank tops. Those are just the tank tops I wear over my bathing suit when we're going to the pool. And then I have my bathing suits right in the front there. And you'll see a theme here with the organization of these drawers. I've gone for vertical organization just because these are really, really shallow drawers and it's just easy to see the items this way and access them. Um, so I folded them in such a way that they can stand up vertically um, and it just it's just really working for me. I'm actually wearing a pair of the sweatpants that normally goes in there so it's usually a little fuller looking. But you can see the drawer still has you know room. Things aren't shoved in there. It's not too crowded. Um, and it's just easy to pull things out. Here in the very bottom drawer um, is where I keep my workout clothes. Uh, so again, you can see I went for the vertical organization. This drawer is a little bit more full because I have quite a variety of workout clothes, um, but they're for all seasons. I don't put away my workout clothes by season. I just keep them all out year round, um, but I have cold weather stuff and warm weather stuff. I've split this up so that on this side is all of my running things and then on the other side is all of my, you know, other exercise th things when I do like workout videos or, um, I don't know, what else, <laughs> yoga, that sort of thing. Um, so I've got all my running leggings here in the front and then I have all my running tops in the back and they go from warmest weather to coldest weather. So I have my long sleeve thermals in the back coming up to my, um, my tanks in the front here. And then on the other side, um, I have all of my yoga pants in the back and then my mesh shorts or you know workout shorts and then um, t workout t-shirts, workout tanks. And then in the center, I just have some cold weather running accessories like a hat and a neck warmer tucked in the back so I don't use those all the time. And then my stretch strap because I stretch right here. After I come in from a run, I stretch right in front of the stretcher drawer so it's easy to just pop it out of there. But again, this organization, this vertical organization style really works for me um, with these drawers especially um, because I can fit a lot in there and I can see it all and I'm really, really liking this right now. Um, it's just, you know, it's just making sense. And yes, this drawer is much more full than the one I showed you last, um, but, uh, you know, it's clothing I only access seasonally so it kind of makes sense that I have some of the colder things in the back and the warmer things in the front and I just I really like it what can I say now I am going to open up drawers that have some of my undergarments in them and I'm not doing this to try to be crude or rude or anything I'm just it's just in the name of sharing um, and I don't have anything particularly like risque or anything but I just thought I'd just throw out the disclaimer first um, if that makes you uncomfortable, I recommend skipping uh, a bit ahead of this video because I'm going to show you these next two drawers have some of my undergarments in them. So this middle top drawer here is where I keep all of my um, undergarments and socks for working out. So I have all my sports bras on this side. Actually, I have to do laundry, so a lot of my sports bras aren't here right now. Um, but I have them by type. I have my underwire ones from Victoria's Secret that I love in front because I wear those the most often. And then some of the you know more traditional kind back there. I have all different kinds of workout underwear. I have different kinds of workout underwear for different kinds of workout gear. So for leggings, I have certain kinds of underwear and then for shorts I have another kind and then for yoga pants I have a third kind and I just have them organized like that and then I have my running socks on the side there and um, if you see these little blocks in the front here um, these are actually cedar blocks I do have some wool running socks and because you know this house is kind of you know <laughs> out in the 
in the country and we get bugs in the house sometimes. I just like to um, have preventative measures with um, my wool and knit items just to have some seed around them so I don't, they don't get moth holes in them. But all those socks are actually in the wash right now because it is cold. I've been wearing them. It's been about 38 degrees on my morning run, so um, they're in the wash. But that's normally why you would see those there is because that's why I have woolen socks. Okay, the last uh, top drawer on the right is where I keep my regular undergarments. And again, I'm not showing you this to try to be crude or anything like that. It's just in the name of organization, and I apologize that the lighting isn't stellar. I don't have studio lights here, so I'm just going to go through this quickly. I've just, I don't use any organizational uh, accessories in these drawers. I just kind of use the clothing, the, like the shape of the clothing itself to organize. So you can see I have my bras on this side and I just have them lined up and standing up and they kind of hold each other to the side there. And then in the middle row I have um, my underwear and again it's by type. I just like organizing it that way. And then on the side here is my socks, again by type from thinnest to thickest. Um, and what, you know, it works. It works. Um, and I have some foot lotion in here because sometimes before I put my socks on I like to put on some foot lotion but again I'm just using the shape of the clothing and the way I fold clothing to organize. So the socks I have, um, you know, they're just folded over like so. Um, and then they stand up really nicely, I found. And my underwear, same thing. I just have it kind of folded in a way that keeps it sort of upright. It works out. We're getting to the last two drawers here. Um, this middle one on the right is where I store all of my um, tanks and t-shirts and a couple of sweaters that I don't want to hang. Um, I'm going to try to get you a better shot of this. Hold on. Okay, I have to hold the camera um, to get it to show you the way I fold things. Um, so if it's a little wobbly, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold it and point at the same time. Um, I'll try not to wobble it too much. I cannot make any promises. So you can see I'm just, again, using the shape of the drawer, but this time not, um, not folding things vertically, but um, folding them flat. Because when it comes to tank tops and t-shirts, I find that they just get kind of wrinkly and a little bit um, hard to manage when they're um, these kind of lighter weight things um, folded up. They just don't have enough bulk to them to stand up. So that's why I like to keep these folded uh, vertically. So you can see I have all my tank tops and I have them folded um, and organized by type. So I have all of my kind of undershirts um, that go under things specifically at the bottom and the tank tops that I wear mostly in the warm weather at the top that are just colorful. And the t-shirts I have at the bottom, I have a couple of long sleeve shirts, and then I have graphic tees below, and then plain tees above. And that just, it just works, because I know that the graphic tees are on the bottom, and the plain tees are on the top, and there is enough space, there's an, um, let me see if I can show you. You can see there's a bit of a lip between, um, you know, the, the, clothing doesn't go all the way to the front of the drawer, which is nice because it means I can see, like, oh, I want to wear the green shirt today. Okay, it's the second one down. Oh, I want to wear this um, other t-shirt. You know, I can, I can see in. And then on the side here, you can see I do have some sweaters I have folded vertically because, again, they are bulkier and they can, ha you know, they can handle it. <laughs> they can stand up a little bit better um, without kind of flopping all over the place. Um, and these are sweaters that I don't want to hang because they're just too delicate to hang. And I only have a couple of sweaters um, and these I do have a couple of sweaters for winter that I um, change out because uh, these are my spring summer uh, sweaters. So I do have some out of season clothing here in storage in our closet but it's mostly ski gear to be perfectly honest. Last but not least the drawer at the bottom here is where I keep my sleeping garments. Um, so I have everything ranging from um, pajama pants and you can see again I'm using vertical organization and just like the other bottom drawer this drawer is a little more stuffed because I have a lot of variety of different kinds of clothing for different kinds of weather and I don't switch this out seasonally. I leave this all year round. Um, so I'll just kind of walk you through it. Uh, over here I have pajama pants um, that I rotate through 
And then I have some underwear that I wear specifically with pajama pants. Don't ask me why. It's just a little bit more, co you know, coverage. And when I'm kind of in pajama pants, especially since we're at a family home here, um, I like to just feel a little bit more um, covered up. I don't know. It's just me. And then I have my slipper socks in the front here, some lighter ones and some heavier ones. So this is like spring, summer, and this is like fall, winter. Um, in the middle here, I have things that I don't wear that often, so I didn't store them horizontally. Plus, again, they're just a little bit thinner and harder to store vertically because they just can't stand up that well on their own. I have some kind of bralettes. Again, I just like to make sure that I'm, you know, feeling really <laughs> covered when I'm in my pajamas. So I'll usually, if I want to take my like, actual bra off, I'll put on like one of these little bralettes. I have some tank tops, um, sleep tops, and then some sleep shorts. Um, but again, I don't really wear those that often. I mainly wear um, nightgowns to sleep in. And I have my nightgowns folded vertically um, on the side here. And then I just have some sleep tops, like some long sleeve sleep tops. I have a lot of lounge clothes for our house here, but that's because we do a lot of lounging. Um, we're total homebodies. The whole family just loves being kind of all cozy and comfy together in the house here. Um, but uh, again, the vertical organization, it just... I feel like I can see everything better, things don't get kind of lost in the back. And because these are more shallow drawers, again, like I said, um, I feel like it works. My drawers at our uh, home in Illinois are much deeper and it's a little bit more tricky to do the vertical organization. But I feel like it really, really works in this dresser. And that, my friends, is all of my dresser drawers. So I am in the middle of reorganizing our closet, but I did just want to give you a peek of where I keep my husband's clothing. He prefers to have it on the shelves um, as opposed to drawers. Uh, a lot of his clothing at our home in Illinois is on shelves as well. He just finds it easier to access. Um, and his clothing is like bigger in size, and so it just fits better on the shelves. Um, plus, like I said, those bureau drawers are kind of shallow, and things don't really fit very well in there. So we have a few um, shelves in our closet dedicated to him. I'm going to go into more detail about all of this when I do the closet video next week. But I just wanted to show you where we're keeping his clothes so you know that Yes, he does have things here. He's got space, that's all for him. And this works for him as opposed to the drawers. Um, if we had more drawers, maybe we would store like more things like his undergarments and things in the drawers, but I don't know. He seems happy to have them out um, all in one place. So it's working out. I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at um, my dresser drawer organization here at our Utah home. Um, I'm really digging the vertical organization. It's just really working for this space. Uh, like I mentioned in the video, I feel like uh, the clothing in these more shallow drawers, it's just, it, it flows nicely. Um, and even in the drawers that are a little bit more full, like my workout drawer and my um, sleepwear drawer, the two bottom drawers, um, I feel like it works even better than trying to like shove all those things like just lying flat in there um, because I really want to make as much as possible out of this space and um, I don't know, I like it. I'm really curious to know if, if any of you organize your clothes vertically or how you organize drawers. I feel like drawer organization can be really tricky because drawers are all different and, and you know, sometimes things get lost in the back. Luckily, like. You know, like I said, these drawers are shallow, so I don't have that problem, but um, there was just a problem of fitting things well. Um, but again, with the vertical organization, I just felt like I could really place things the way I wanted to and fit quite a bit in each drawer. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Like I mentioned, I am going to be doing a closet update here. I don't think I've ever shared the closet here, actually. I haven't really, like, this is the... And so in the past year that I've been really working on the closet. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. It's a walk-in closet, you saw it. It's sort of a, I think I would call that a medium-sized walk-in closet, um, which is much, much different from our closet at our Illinois home, which is enormous and very long and skinny. Uh, but I am going to show you that closet too. So I will be back next week to show you my completed organization in that closet. You got kind of a before look. Um, and mainly working on the shelves and the bins and stuff right now. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know how you organize your drawers if you care to share or tweet me pictures or leave them on my Facebook page. That would be awesome. I have links to those things below. And um, please check out my coordinating blog post to see pictures. And um, yeah, that's 
that's it for today. Have a great weekend, you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy organizing. Bye.